on, Nancy. You know how much I love revenge. It's basically my favourite thing. Why won't you let me come to the school and help you? Because if you do, it'll all end up big and gothic and someone will get killed or something. Yeah, only if we do it right. I'm joking. <laughs> well, I'm not. Olivia is the one who will violate all human decency to get what she wants. And if I stoop to her level, then there's no right or wrong. There's just one big fat mess. But who cares, Nancy? You have enough to destroy her. So I say we do it in the most public and humiliating way possible. That is, um, <clears throat> unless you've lost your nerve. Olivia has tried to ruin my career. But worse than that, ten times worse than that, she has tried to mess with my family. And you know how I feel about that. So, the only person that's losing anything is Olivia. In fact, by the end of today, she might find she has nothing left at all. Charlie assaulted you, babe. If you don't want me defending you and you won't defend yourself, then I think it's time to go to the police. For the last time, my career will not be aided with you dragging the school's reputation through the mud. Is it too much to ask that you're a little bit pragmatic for once? Right, fine, sorry for not being pragmatic. I know I can be a little bit pushy and demanding sometimes, and a bit of a nightmare, but it's only because I want you to be the man that I know you can be. You understand that, right? I love you. Is there something you want to say to me? I love you too. <laughs> no, silly. Good luck for the big assembly today, maybe? Good luck for your big assembly. I know you're going to smash it, baby. Thank you. Talk about conduct. I know from recent personal experience how it feels to be a victim of violence and teenage aggression. You feel scared and safe. Now, this isn't a place to shame people, but it is a chance to reflect. Students like Charlie Dean get away with their behaviour because people are afraid to speak up. Now we need to build a foundation of trust between students and teachers so that everybody feels safe to stand up. That's enough. Mrs Osborne, I appreciate this may be difficult to... Keep Charlie's name out of your lying mouth. Excuse me, could I just have... I think Mrs Osborne is clearly struggling to come to terms with Charlie's behaviour. She said as much to me yesterday. Mrs Sinclair, can I have a word with you outside in private? There's something you should know. If I'd raised a violent thug, I'd want to speak outside as well. You know what? Actually, you're right. We should. We should do this right here, and we should do it right now. You see, it's school policy that unless prior approval has been given, only an education professional can lead an assembly. What are you talking about? Miss Bradshaw obviously is a teacher at this school. Miss Sinclair, she is raving mad. This woman is a lot of things, and she is a lot of things. But a licensed educator isn't one of them. She's faked every degree she's ever had. You're not a teacher, Olivia. You're a bad actor. And the show is over. Quick, Nancy! How did it go? Oh, well, it went fine. I got sent home, but if you... Have you been waiting here because you know this is the way I walk back? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. How did it go? <laughs> well, I guess that groveling little apology yesterday was all for show then. Do you realise how pathetic you are? Having to dig in the recesses of my past instead of beating me fair and square here in the present. It was never about beating you, Olivia. You're the one that made this a competition. All I did was win it. Oh, you really can't drop the ceremony for one minute, can you? What do you want me to say? that I enjoyed watching this persona that you've built up come crashing down around you, or that I got some sort of pleasure from watching the lies you told get exposed in front of everyone. Because, yeah, I did. Yes. You can try and come after my job if you want, but you should have stayed away from Charlie. Makes you feel any better. You're only an average teacher anyway. Get it, Nancy! Get it, Nancy! Do the back again! I, I, what do you think of playing out? Hey. Haven't your family done enough to her? This is borderline obsession. Uh, Prince, you might want to ask your fiance there a few questions before you make a fool of yourself. 
Because that woman is not who she says she is. Yeah. Do you want to tell him? Or shall I? Hmm. Prince. I think we need to have a little chat, don't you? Now, Olivia, I'm going to ask you a question. And after I give you a second chance over blackmailing John Paul, I think that I deserve a straight answer, don't you? So I have checked and double-checked your credentials and they all seem solid. I've gone to bat for you time and again. But there isn't any truth in what Nancy said, is there? Of course, I'm a real teacher. The, the day I got my qualifications was the happiest day of my life. The truth is, Nancy Osborne is a danger to herself, to others, and to me. I see. Well, like I said, I checked all your credentials and they did seem solid. So I called a few friends on the education board and they called a few of theirs. What Nancy said was right. You aren't a qualified teacher at all. You're a very good liar. Did, did you lie about Charlie Dean? How could you even ask me that? Yes, well. All things considered, I'm afraid I'm going to have to terminate your employment. Well, what you just did was entrapment. Setting me up like that when you know I am this desperate, it's deeply unethical. I'd be very careful about starting a conversation with me about ethics in the workplace, Olivia. Good luck in your new profession. And Prince... Just... Good luck. You hold still, Rocky. Huh? See, I told you, this is what happens when you get involved with Sienna, didn't I? Didn't I? Well, it worked, didn't it? No. What happened to you? Yeah, what happened to you, Nancy? I got sent home from school. By the head teacher. For fighting. <laughs> That's weird. What, what happened? Did you sort it? I wanted to deal with Olivia professionally. You know, take Sally to one side, go through the proper channels to have her removed, but... But what? I got a bit cross and I ended up outing her in front of the entire school and then we had a bit of a fight. I'm not too proud of that bit. Well, does that mean the people know? Olivia, it's finished, mate. The whole school knows she's a fraud and by this time next week, the whole village will too. OK, fine. I should have told you, but I didn't realise official certifications meant so much to you. Do you think I care that you faked some documents or whatever? I care that you kept it from me. I'm your fiancé. You don't treat me like you treat everyone else. And how do I treat everyone else? Like the obstacles. Things in between you and what you want. But I can't do this right now. I need to work on damage control. Well, what do you think this is? I want you to be the man I know you can be. That's what you said to me this morning. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's what partners should want for each other. Mutual improvement. That's what you should want for yourself. That's why I want to be the best version of myself for you. Yeah, but I don't want that. I love you, not some imaginary version of you. Do you think I'm where I want to be in my life? Do you think I'd be faking qualifications if this was all that I wanted? Listen, you didn't get fired because of what you want. You got fired because of what you prepared to do to get what you want. Again, even after what you did to John Paul. I'm sorry if my ambition scares you. Your ambitions don't scare me, you scare me. Did you lie about Charlie? No. What, you don't believe me now? It's not that I don't believe you. And it's not that I think that you're lying. It's just, I have no idea whether you're telling the truth or not. Look, I'm sorry that I'm not the man that you want to live here, okay? But I'm happy with where I am, or at least close enough. The problem is who you want to be. And I think I have a pretty good idea of who that is, and I'm sorry, but 
I don't think that's someone I want to spend the rest of my life with.